Hey, I'm good, uh, Maddie. How are you? We're, we're good, good. Thank you very much. Uh, uh, nice, nice shirt, right? Uh, uh, <laughs> about <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, I love this. I love this one. <laughs> this is one of my favorites. Yeah, I, I totally agree. Uh, I, I want one actually. Uh, I, <laughs> I'll send you one. I send you the full suit. <laughs> I have some postman shirts, but not this one, or at least I have some, but uh, I took too much weight, so I cannot have them anymore. <laughs> we are waiting for Abhijit, right, to to join us. Yep, I think uh, Abhijit should be joining in any second. I see that he's accepted. Yep, and again, for people in the chat, don't hesitate to share your questions. We are really glad to have two of the uh, postman co-founders, uh, one of the most successful API tooling company or even software company, right? With, let's not resume you just as APIs, right? Uh, there, we know the journey. I'm an entrepreneur too, right? Uh, we, I know the journey is not over, right? It's just, you know, step by step. But uh, uh, yeah, really glad to have you both. Hello, Abhijit, how are you? Hi, Madhi, how are you? I'm good, I'm good. Sorry, the internet has to conk off when I need to join. So <laughs> yeah, actually, you know, uh, this is a unique opportunity to have a uh, different time zone speakers and founders in the same area. So let's use that uh, uh, opportunity here for a 20 minute uh, fireside chat about uh, about Postman today. Uh, so, uh, yeah. Can you maybe share a little bit about yourself and where what's the state of Postman today? What's about the company today? Sure. Yeah. Maybe I'll just give a brief intro, Abhijit, then you can go and then, you know, maybe both of us can talk about, you know, where we are as Postman. So hello, everyone. I'm uh, Abhinav Astana. I'm the founder and CEO of Postman. Uh, I was the original author of the Postman extension uh, back in 2012. And since then, you know, it has kind of grown into a company that we might talk about a little bit. Uh, I now, you know, look at the product and the company and, and I'm based in the Bay Area now. Awesome. So, uh, hey everyone, I'm Abhijit, one of the co-founders here at Postman. I've been part of this journey since 20, late 2014, so just over six years now. Um, and I'm presently looking at uh, the integrations product. Um, and the idea behind that is to essentially make sure that Postman sort of, sort of plays well with the ever-growing API and software ecosystem that exists um, in order to ensure that our, you know, our users are able to fit in Postman to whatever sort of workflow they, they, they've adopted at their organization. And um, yeah, I mean, given the sort of talks we've seen, it's clear that that landscape is just ever expanding. So really exciting to see what uh, what the next few years have to offer. Yeah, yeah. Recently, you raised a, a new round of of venture capital to sustain your growth and your mission into the software space and API space. Uh, what's uh, um, uh, what are uh, what are the different locations for Postman? How many employees you are? Uh, yeah, sure. like can yeah. you tell us a bit more about that. Yeah, so you know, our, our recent raise uh, came after uh, uh, a Series B round that we have uh, uh, we had raised. So you know, for people and familiar with venture capital, you know, kind of raise ABC rounds. Uh, I think, uh, uh, yeah, now we have raised more than two hundred million in venture capital. Uh, the last round, we made the valuation public, valued us at uh, you know two billion. And and the only reason I kind of mention it is that. Uh, Essentially, the world uh, uh, sees how critical APIs are to uh, you know powering the global economy, and you know Postman is fortunate to be uh, you know at, at uh, you know at a key part you know is, is playing a key part in, in all of this. So you know we uh, you know started with three co-founders. Actually, Ankit is not here, but you know we we were three people uh, who founded the company in 2014. Uh, we are now more than 300. Uh, across more than 10 countries, actually. I think we have a lot of folks in Europe now, uh, Europe, Canada, US, New Zealand, Australia. I think we have a couple of people in Africa now. Uh, India and the Bay Area are our two hubs. So we kind of have like, in a way, three hubs. We have a distributed hub, we have an India hub, and we have a, a San Francisco hub. Uh, though East Coast in the US is also kind of developing. And you know, we, uh, we have people in, uh, you know, product engineering, uh, sales, uh, developer relations, you know, all distributed across the globe. So there's no particular flavor to, to that. And we've been doubling in size, uh, more than doubling in size every year. And in the recent newsletter, I've seen that you've reached like, you crossed like 9 million or 10 million users, right? Something like that. Yeah, I think now it's 13 million. 
13, yeah, that's, uh, yeah, yeah, that goes really, really fast uh, there. We are friends from Slash Data, you know, who make uh, developer marketing studies, right? So, yeah, it seems you have a huge, really important part of all the developers on the planet, right? So APIs are something. Every developer is using APIs, you know, and we are fortunate that they are, you know, using Postman as well. Yeah, that's a, that's a good uh, definition uh, there about the, the potential scale. Uh, of Postman, right? So, and the potential uh, uh, growth um, to uh, to continue. So, maybe we'll start uh, with you, Abhinav, here on, you know, how do you go from just a Postman client, you know, just this extension or this tooling extension to a company, and then where you met uh, Abhijit and and Ankit, right, to to build a company out of uh, out of uh, out of it. Yeah, I'd, I'd let Abhijit, you know, answer kind of his, you know, when when we met, it was pretty interesting. Uh, how we found him, but I let him share his perspective because we don't talk about that often. But yeah, you know, I think uh, one of the first things I would say is that, you know, Postman has grown in his journey primarily by listening to developers. You know, developers drive, uh, like the way developers have driven adoption of APIs across the world, they've also driven the adoption of Postman and the growth of, you know, Postman. So, uh, you know, the first few versions of Postman were you know, the share were, were kind of built because of the shared pains of, you know, Postman co-founders. And across uh, uh, the entire process, we are continuously listening to, uh, you know, developers and really trying to kind of figure out like, uh, what is the kind of tooling they need? What are the kind of pain points they have? Where are they getting stuck with, you know, API development? And an interesting thing we found out was that it was also, by the way, not just developers, it was, uh, uh, you know, folks uh, who are quality engineers, security engineers, product managers, like this whole API economy uh, that is just you know, kind of uh, uh, adding uh, a, a lot of, uh, I think, new skills to, to the market, which, you know, everybody uh, wanted to have. And Postman became the way for them to, you know, kind of work with APIs and, and you know, just do all of these things kind of more efficiently. So we've been kind of listening to them. We have been hearing about, you know, uh, what exactly, you know, how do teams work, for example, when they're building APIs? You know, how do companies really manage like their API landscape? Uh, and Postman being a key part of their tool chain already helps us solve uh, a lot of problems, you know, in different ways that typically, you know, other companies would not even start thinking about, right? So uh, collaboration, for example, became a key theme for us, and that also powers, uh, you know, our business model quite a bit and uh, you know now that we are a larger company you know we are focused on you know meeting the needs of developers meeting the needs of teams and meeting the needs of like you know bigger larger companies across all of these three layers and and you know uh, we ship fast you know powered by apis we are also an api driven company so you know that's that's what kind of you know this this uh, feedback loop of listening to developers you know building apis internally and then uh, putting the product out helps us, you know, uh, uh, helps us grow. Abhijit, you know, if you want to chime in with, you know, how we kind of got started. Yeah, sure. I mean, it's been an interesting journey, of course. Uh, so I'd say, I, you know, first met Abhinav in, in an internship I was doing in my, uh, in my number two of school. And uh, here we were, you know, we weren't really working on APIs as a product. It was, it was something that was, uh, that was unrelated. But um, this was around the time when, in general, APIs around the industry were being used. You know, almost everyone you knew working in tech, we were making the migration to microservices or we were doing some sort of you know, API refactoring. Um, so I think this was the time when you know, all of my friends were aware of APIs, what they are, why they're useful. And because of all of that, the problems that exist in API workflows. Um, so in, in 2014, Abhinav, Abhinav reached out to me and you know this is the sort of problem we're trying to solve this is the product that we have um, and at that point you know postman was already you know somewhat a validated product i think we had around 300 or 400000 users at the time um, and the need was sort of felt everywhere right uh, almost anyone we spoke to any of our users who spanned multiple types of companies multiple scales of organizations all mentioned the same problem over and over that API tooling is not where we'd like it to be. Collaboration is a very, very key part of our workflow, which tools don't really solve for. And I think those two parts were the the first big problem that we that we wanted to address. Um, saying that APIs are about collaboration of people, not just tools and technologies. And how do we bring collaboration into you know how would we bring in collaboration as a first class feature of your API workflow? Um, so we sort of launched our API collaboration product. Uh, 
one year into the organization. And after that, we essentially looked at the broader API lifecycle, saying that there are you know, fixed stages for API design, documentation, development, uh, deploying to production, and then iterating on the subsequent version of your API, right? So that entire API lifecycle is what we try to solve for in, in one product. Um, and yeah, I, th I think that has been one, one bet that uh, I think has, has worked well for us uh, over the last five or six years. Yeah, a, a question about that bet, because, you know, in the 2013-14, many companies actually trying to be like API tools, like just mm -hmm. an example with Runscope, right, from John Chian, who has been acquired by CA Technology, 3Scale acquired by Red Hat, Apiary acquired by Oracle. They were all having one small piece of the API lifecycle, right? But what enabled Postman to at least resist? Maybe maybe you refused many acquisitions. Uh, we don't know. But at least what vision helped enable you to actually spread over the full life cycle and now to make actually to to make all the link between all the dots, right? To connect the dots of the API life cycle management. Was it vision? Was it because you were funded? You had enough traction, right? To to trust into your ability to deliver. I, I yeah, I mean, say there were. Go ahead, go ahead, yeah. Oh, good. Um, so, so I'd say there, there were there were two main factors, right? I think one is that we saw that the different tooling that existed around the API ecosystem it didn't play well with each other, right? Which was which was ironic because APIs are all about interplay. Um, so I think that was one realization that we had, and we said, you know, if you get into Postman, you should be able to do documentation, monitoring, all of that from one place. And I think the other was the focus on collaboration, right? Um, even if you look at the sort of feature improvements that we're do doing now and all of the new capabilities we are adding. Collaborating with your team is, is a central part of all of that, right? And I think those two were, uh, those two are, at least to me, um, two things that we did differently that have been critical to our to our growth so far. Yeah, to add to that, I think, you know, Mary, I think every company or like a kind of, you know, an important company has a point of view uh, on, on, you know, a market or a product. And I think our point of view as Abhijit articulated was, you know, things should work well together and people should, you know, work well together. And, and we felt like that was a critical element that was missing in API tooling companies, you know, when uh, there was this huge explosion of, you know, in venture capital going into, you know, tooling companies like the ones that you mentioned. And I think there were certain assumptions everybody had kind of baked in that, you know, collaboration can just automatically happen through, you know, let's say GitHub or GitLab and what we were learning from our uh, conversations with customers and, and developers building this, uh, building these APIs, you know, for example, building a private API together and consuming a bunch of private APIs inside a company is a very different problem than, you know, collaborating with third party developers and building and iterating on your API. And it's also a very different problem than, you know, working with partners on, you know, their APIs. And we felt like, uh, nobody had this point of view, so we would want to stay independent. We would want to get uh, you know our product validated by customers, you know, and uh, you know effectively create a new market. And we don't want while the tooling problem is of course important. We would also want to integrate with the uh, most you know uh, validated technologies and and the best technologies out there you know so like now we integrate with open api we integrate with raml with graphql and what every company was trying to do in my opinion at that point was trying to you know capture like a piece of this and trying to kind of own it right and and what we saw was that there is a higher order problem to be solved and we can only solve that problem by staying independent and and fortunately we had the traction you know to uh, to guide us through yeah, as even you were mentioning, just when you say Postman client, we had 300,000 users. The companies are burning dozens of millions, right? Just to have this kind of traction. So yeah, congrats for really pointing out what developers were, were asking. Uh, so uh, yeah, thank you for sharing that vision. Uh, now I want to talk more about the Postman today and the Postman in the future. Um, you released a great report, like the state of APIs, right, industry. Uh, uh, this year, I really advise everybody to, to go there and, and read it. Uh, and you talk also about the COVID-19, right, crisis and how APIs have been an important part. I will include it, but in the, it seems, you know, with API days, right, uh, we've seen many, many companies uh, like, um, you know, newcomers having APIs and API programs, even where people that were not knowing APIs six months ago now are part of API programs. Do you, right. see, do you see this wave? Or is just 
API conferences that who see that way? We are we are seeing this across the entire industry. Like I mean, you know, uh, I think API Days has done a great job, you know, the last few years in uh, highlighting this trend. You know, I've been attending since 2015. I think that's where I met you kind of first, right? And and what, what we see from data, uh, you know, in, in, across the industry is that you know every single industry vertical, every single piece of technology is impacted by APIs, uh, and uh, you know, there's no corner of the world, you know, that is that is left. Uh, it's uh, what what's also happening is that, you know, people are, you know, kind of going through these uh, you know, maturity phases of understanding, you know, what's a good API, you know, uh, what does it take to build a, you know, performant, resilient service, you know, how can we be like, you know, running 24 seven, how can we, you know, trade on all of that. So these needs are felt, you know, kind of across the world. Because that's the only way to, you know, be part of a global economy, you know, today. Like there, there is no other way. You know, you uh, like, like it. Something that I think we were, uh, uh, you know, championing as speakers, you know, five years ago, is now the default which the next generation of developers will will build upon. Yeah, I'm... I think the other thing I'd, uh, I'd add to that is we've seen an increase in the in the personas that are. You know, more comfortable with the whole construct of an API. Uh, it's moved away from simply developers and folks in QA who are working directly with the API. And you're seeing folks from product, sales, solutions, engineering, all of these functions as they become more comfortable with the idea of an API. We're as an industry, we're in uncovering more use cases that you know people hadn't thought of before. And uh, one of the problems that we're trying to address with our upcoming releases is how do we cater more to all of the other personas that are also um, invested in your company's or your team's API, right? And not just limited to your developers who, who might be you know, producing or consuming the endpoints, but an API is a, a lot more than those few endpoints, right? So I think that is the other industry shift that we're also seeing. So can we say that the next wave of API tooling, Postman included, right? But uh, will it be about like helping non-technical people to onboard APIs? It's, it's already, yeah, it's already here, maybe, right? Like the no-code, low-code uh, movement that you see growing up, you know, it's, uh, people don't talk about APIs there, but APIs are, you know, like you can't have no-code or low-code without APIs, you know, otherwise the abstraction layers are too down, uh, you know, too far down, right? So so the way to build those applications is through APIs, it's just that we have a different name for it. And most of those companies, you know, are scaling up uh, pretty uh, rapidly in, in the current form. I think there are many, many use cases of uh, uh, APIs, you know, for these, you know, non-technical audiences, right? I think, uh, like, one way to think about it is that, you know, so far over the last decade, uh, almost everybody has been interacting with applications through these, you know, uh, glass panes, right? You don't know how, how what, what's behind the glass, how can you actually, you know, uh, use it to your own, uh, own advantage, you know, can you pick that data? Like, the best thing we have, uh, and, and I kind of joke about this often, right? Like Postman's competition often is like copy pasting. You know, you take a screenshot and then you copy paste it in your email. Then you select something and you copy paste it. But if you think about it, it's basically data that is going from one place to another and, and humans kind of doing their job. So what you're seeing is that once people look through that glass and see that, okay, there are APIs, you know, powering uh, all of this technology, then you can use that API for your, you know, uh, business needs, right? Like, uh, I mean, Abhijit cited a lot of roles, like data scientists or business analysts, for example, you know, are just much more powerful, like today. So I think we'll see many, many new cases, and and you know, I think the focus today uh, in the application market is around building no-code, low-code apps. But I think it's still like a tiny fraction of what could be done in the future. So a quick, a quick question about the impact of Postman. You know, 13 million developers, at fine, users strong, not maybe not only developers, right? Uh, makes a, makes an important uh, uh, impact in the industry. And and I I, I do some time consulting in many big organizations, and the teams swear by Postman, right? It's Postman collections everywhere. Postman, Postman, right? Uh, so my question is like, it seems Postman collection at least uh, becomes a kind of de facto standard of API collaboration. Uh, uh, right, and uh, I don't know, but I hope that one day, you know, we use Google as a verb, like, hey, let me Google it, you know, Facebook me, WhatsApp me. I don't know what could be the verb 
for <laughs> for collections, right? But uh, yeah, I this is this is what I feel when I see these companies. Sometimes they just onboard uh, the API program, but you know they they have a tool to make things simpler to consume, to test, to try, to see, to see and feel feel the APIs, right? So, uh, do you intend to invent a verb for API collaboration? <laughs> uh we haven't in invented a verb yet but we do have a new product uh, offering called postman public workspaces so uh you can easily now browse uh, and search for all publicly available collections on the postman.com website we have also moved postman to the web so you know listeners of the conference can go to postman.com slash explore and explore the world of you know collections that is out there uh, and many, that's what we kind of saw, right? So the interesting thing about collections is not only do they give you a feel of the API, but we intentionally designed them to be flexible and malleable, right? So once you kind of encounter, let's say, you know, documentation of an API, you want to pick out like the three or four API endpoints that you're going to use, mash it with something else, or maybe convert it, you know, in, in some other form which the original author didn't intend. And that we believe is actually the full potential of APIs, right? Like if I told you to use an API in only one way, then only one application is going to be built right forever. So that's the power of collections, and you know we are seeing that come up in many, many, many different shapes. So what we've done is you know uh, uh, put put Postman on the web. Uh, now you can work with them, you know, without downloading anything, without by simply just going to a URL and accessing a collection. So you know we're pretty excited about that. That's an open beta right now, and you know depending on the support from the community, maybe we'll have a work for it. Yeah, uh, and uh, uh, for the last two minutes we have together, uh, what what would you what can you share about wh where Postman is going, uh, right? And just to say, so many people were happy about having Postman on the web. Just to tell you, uh, <laughs> right? So many firewalls company could not you know install stuff. There, you know, it was a big revolution for many teams. Yeah, can you share like in 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 ninety ninety seconds, right? Where where Postman is going and and what the, it will continue to deliver for the community. So our view is, you know, like we, we we can play a very important role in bringing and standardize, standardizing the way the API community of producers and consumers collaborate at a massive scale. You know, we uh, are seeing companies bring their internal APIs through our paid offerings and, you know, our public uh, uh, API offerings are all free. And that allows them to communicate much more effectively with this, you know, growing and large community of, uh, uh, you know, users. And our intention is, you know, like, uh, you know, get get every API call done in a few seconds. You know, that's that's all we kind of optimize for. So if everyone in the world can just, you know, make an API call as simple as a Google search or as an Amazon, you know, one click buy button, you know, I think our mission will be achieved. Uh, and and that's <laughs> that's the that's a simple way to put it. What I think the next few years for us are going to look, be looking like. Yeah, you will be able to retire in peace when it will be done, right? <laughs> Abhi, <laughs> exactly. Abhi, Pit, one last thought to share with the community. Sure. Uh, I think, you know, but to just add to what Abhinav said, I think with what we're doing, we sort of uh, see that there are a lot of applications with APIs that are waiting to be built, you know, that haven't been built yet for various reasons. And I think we just see Postman playing one small part in making, you know, APIs accessible to the much broader uh, you know, soon to be developer community, the, the computing world, you know, just to sort of unleash that that creativity that that APIs can can help with. So, um, yeah, uh, excited to see you know where we are in a few years. Yep, and just to say for all attendees, uh, with a with a, a friend Jed, we designed the API industry landscape, and now we have a new version on api-landscape.com where it's more let's say interactive, and we now we try to find which are the ones directly compatible with Postman and it's growing, growing over time. So yeah, it really becomes like the uh, an infrastructure in the API tooling space uh, there. You know, the motto of API days is connect the humans behind APIs. And I think this is what Postman delivers with its, pro uh, its product. So it was great to have you uh, guys, Abhinav and Abhijit, right? Uh, uh, this will be available for replay also for other time zones. Uh, I'm, I'm sure the community will have loved hear your comments and story uh, but uh, Postman from the the uh, the uh, Postman clients to Postman the company and what vision you bring to the industry. Thank you for what you do, and we'll always be there to uh, to do it with the conference part where you do it with on the product part. <laughs> have a great day. Thank you so much. Yeah. yeah. Thank you so much, Mehdi. It was great and to be here. And a great night, Abhijit. Right. <laughs> <For me. laughs> Thank you.